Today, we're gonna be going over five things that I love and hate about her not being a sneakerhead. And we're gonna go over five things that I love and hate about him being a sneakerhead. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go first, go ahead. Uh-oh, okay, we're starting with the bad. She got the, <laughs> you gotta start with the bad, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. The way that you take 40 million years in this, the shoe stores and I have to sit there and act like I'm interested, even though I wanna leave five <laughs> minutes in. Okay, <laughs> to my defense, I'm always looking for something for you too. True, true, but So <laughs> you know. It's, it's like a part of my job, you know, I gotta go in, I gotta inspect the space, I, I gotta talk to the managers, I gotta do the networking, get everything done. You just still don't like it. No. <laughs> like when we're not filming. Yeah, because I mean, even the Seattle trip we took recently, I'm not kidding when I say this, we went to like 10 different sneaker stores within a 48 hour period. <laughs> and I just, I mean, at that point, like I can't. I feel you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I feel okay. that. So like when we're filming, it's cool, but like we're just out and I'm in a new city or in a city I haven't been into. I'm just like, boom, 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 hit the stars. I don't have anything to do if, I'm, if we're filming. I'm I'm usually the one behind the camera. Right, so, right. Okay, okay. You know? I got you. I got yeah. you. All right. Well, that's, I think that's acceptable. Hopefully I can speed up my process. I got my notes too. Uh -oh. So we're starting with bad. First thing that I hate, or we call it, this is, we got this inspiration from the ick challenge from TikTok. So the first thing that I hate, or my ick, was, no longer is, because I made sure we got rid of them, the black Harachis that uh, you used to have. <laughs> I had them in the house for maybe a month, and he threw them away without even asking me. <laughs> without even asking me. They were like my favorite go-to gym shoes, and I like, and then I was like, what happened? go with everything. What happened though? I said, I'll th I'm throwing then them he away. Then got me on Depresto's. I hooked up with some Presto, Presto's. So. I got you multiple colors. I ID'd some for you. I got you right. And you was wearing those every single day. You still rock them. You got yeah. hella colors. So yeah. not only did I throw them away, I made sure I backed it up and I hooked you up. I let you try out Ultra Boost, all the other models as well. True, true. So you put me on to you know what a lot of You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. That's all I'm saying. So I mean, if you know, it's cool. I feel like we're good. I'm gonna still take that one too. I'm not mad at that. Let's go. What you got? You got something good or bad to say? You know, we're supposed to do five good and five bad. Mm, I'm going with bad. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> The way that you look at a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you look so enamored at a new pair of shoes. And sometimes I'd be like, damn, does he look at me like that? <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, you might love the shoes more than me sometimes. <laughs> no, that is not the case. That is not the case. I just love sneakers too. And I, I love know. the intricacies of the sneaker and all this stuff. So that's an ick. <laughs> I gotta start looking at shoes in private. It's gonna be like, <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, okay. Let me get my, let me just hold my list right here. Yeah, Since we're going with bads, we're gonna still rock with the bads for now. All right, let's hear okay. it. Okay, uh, a ick that I have, it just pisses me off every time. You say, oh, we're rushing, we're late. And then I'm like, all right, cool. And you're like, make me an outfit. And I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> so I make you an outfit. And then I put together like three different options. Oh. I give you shoes for every outfit, multiple sneakers to go with them, the different fits. I give you like a dressed up, a casual, the, all the different styles. I put them that. all together. And then you just go back to your <laughs> neutral gray Jordan 1 lows. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're the most comfortable and universal shoe there is. So, what is up with that? Um, no, sometimes you do pick the fit, though. Sometimes I pick the or fit. Or you might tweak it a little bit or add an accessory. Yeah, but yeah. But I feel like, so I can't say I feel like you don't like the style of the fits. I think yeah. it's just sometimes you got to alter it for your mood. That's what I always say. Like, yeah. it's hard for me because I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to wear until, like, I'm ready to walk out the door. You yeah, know what I'm that's saying? that's true. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's still an ick though, because I'm like, you just see me Sometimes I feel putting bad. this all together and then you just go on. Sometimes I do feel bad. Go with a whole different I'll fit. I'll look at it and I'll be like, wow, look at all these. He like puts me together like three or four fits and like, I just feel like, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have, she, she has chosen fits before, so it's not like it's all the time I'm getting rejected. But when I do, I love you. <laughs> All right, what we got? We got a. Uh, you still going with bad? You got something good to say? Did you write anything good? Now? Oh yeah, I did. But I think I'm, I'm just gonna keep doing the bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me some more bad. What okay. you got? All right. 
Um, the way that you'll push me or the dog out of the way for close to your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you like do a stiff arm and be like, move. Cause sometimes I'll be wearing some shoes that's like hella expensive. And when we first got together, she didn't even realize like what it meant to her stepping on my shoes. Yeah. And so for the people out there, you know, like if you have family members, typically those are the people that step on your family and friends step on your shoes more than strangers do just cause you're really close to them. Yeah. And because of that, oops, oops, oops. And I'm like, I don't have oops for a white suede, expensive ass sneaker. True. I don't got time for that. So True. I'm always like, ah, when the dog comes around, especially, I'm like, ah, 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 Aww, ah. and our dog is so little, and he doesn't understand, so he's yeah. just be loving you. You know what he did? I was what? so pissed. What? It was just, so, it was like raining and snowing hella hard here, but he was covered, just soaking wet, you know, his fur is like, and he's wet. He waits till he comes all the way up here. He goes right there, <laughs> and he shakes off. I'm like, bro, I got all these expensive ass shoes on the ground. You can see the water <laughs> splatter on the containers. And I'm like, bro, are you serious? How like, what are the odds? You could have done this anywhere in the house. You had to come right here next to my orange lobsters and my ones and my suede. I got, I'm like, bro, what? So, yeah, yeah, I'm always stiff arming. Yeah. I, I don't I do like it as good. aggressive. I'm just like, but it's like a reflex of yours from playing football. football. So she knows like, that too. There's like, that. And like I, because I love you, I'm like all up underneath you. I know. Especially like when we were first together, I was like, uh, I want to breathe your air. And then I'm like, <laughs> back up, you go step on my <laughs> shoes. <laughs> but I feel like I've gotten better about it. Yeah. And it's I like, still do it, but I like, don't do it as much either with my like wide receiver releases and stuff. Like when I'm walking by you and I'm coming yeah. around the corner and stuff, like I don't do it as much. I used to like all the time, be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> like hand fighting and doing all this stuff. So it did, I'm giving her the move, but that's, yeah. We don't, I don't do that as much anymore. Yeah. That was a ick. Okay, yeah, what was yeah. that, your second one or your third one? That was your third one? That was my third one. Oh yeah, here we go. When you wear Nike socks with them damn Yeezy slides or, <laughs> cause you can see it says like dry fit on the front, sticking out the toe. And I'm like, bruh, are you serious right now? Well, I I'm gonna say this. Um, we have a bin of socks and we have a bin of socks. We don't have anything that's not Nike or Jordan in there. We got like some except for fuzzy socks. Yeah, but there's a couple other brands that I'm starting to introduce <laughs> to our rotation. But we definitely I only had I used to have like uh, some Adidas socks back at the other house, but mm -hmm. I just got rid of all that stuff because I was like the Nike socks feel the best, so I just wear those. Plus, if I'm wearing Adidas and I got Nike socks on, nine times out of ten it's like a higher cut where you can't see the swoosh and the pants is covering it, so it's like it's whatever. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's that so was. I don't really have a lot of options. Yeah. You know, so I feel like we should probably get that. some like blank like what. No, 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 no. Remember that's what happened. I told you to just wear the Supreme socks. Remember. Yeah, but then they disappeared. I haven't seen them. All the packs? I just bought some more. <laughs> I How is this possible? That's another ick. <laughs> we could talk about that one in a later. That's not sneaker related. My socks be disappearing all the time. And it ain't the dryer or the washer. Cause I be doing the laundry. Another ick. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I got something good to say. <laughs> Wait, is it my icks or yours? Cause that was mine, no, no, right? That was, that was yours. yours. So... All right, go ahead. You just did three icks. Mm -hmm. Where's the good stuff? You want me to do a good yeah, one? Yeah, come on. Okay. All right, all right, I'll do it. You knowing the history behind almost every shoe. Okay. Um, I think it, I'm sure your audience also, you know, agrees with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it gives so much more meaning to what you're doing and the reason why like sneakerheads love sneakers, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I, I had no clue. I thought shoes were just shoes. And then right. you were like, oh no, like this Jordan, represents this period of his career and like you know this this crazy thing that he, he did or like this record he broke whatever it mm -hmm. might be so um i feel like that's a good thing and it's taught me a lot and i'm sure it's taught your people a lot so okay all right so I, i'll give you a good one the it was my second on my list but there's no particular order honestly it was just the second thing i wrote down okay. but it was that you're trying to learn so some people could just not learn and they just be like, oh yeah, that's cool. And then just like not know nothing. But you're like trying to learn the stuff and you're trying to like know what it is. And you'll be like walking by and be like, are those the whatever's? <laughs> and that's the colorway. And they'll be like, yeah, you got it. So like, you always be like kind of testing yourself with me and stuff. So I think that's a good thing too. Okay, I 
I like that. that one. I like that one. You know what I'm saying? You're stepping your game up. I like it. I like it. Okay, back to the X. Oh my God. <laughs> we did one good thing. You're going to run out. You're not going to have fun saying good things all just back to back. Um, The way you wake me up at 6.59 a.m. no matter what <laughs> to enter the sneakers. <laughs> I won't even have my eyeballs peeled open at all. It would be like, just, just come on. Just like, just open it. <laughs> no, all right. First off. It was like a year when we did that, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna be more selective. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna respect your eyelids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now I do like the hottest drops that I know I need yeah. more entries in, yeah. and the ones that you're like, oh, that's justifiable, or something that you may not even know of. That's like we're we're trying to get that for you, and you're like, oh, I didn't know it was coming out. So then it's like, oh, we still wake up for it. So yeah. now in current time, especially over the past year, it's been more of like very selective like we see the travis scotts and the mm -hmm. orange lobsters and the most recent releases like that and the lost and found stuff like that makes sense yeah. and don't get me wrong i know you have a really good feeling when you hit on the dope releases because you've gotten me <laughs> off whites off white forces <laughs> off white dunks travis scott fragments yeah. fra uh, fear of gods like you've hitting on some really good stuff as well for me yeah. and then when you hit you're like ah yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> so i mean you could call it an ick i know you hate it in the moment yeah but deep down you love it yeah, it does feel good to get like those special ones that <laughs> people don't usually hit on. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. actually crazy because she, it, the people that care the least are, are the ones that hit you guys. It's just what it is. But luckily, I have it already auto set to size 13. So as soon as she enters, <laughs> it's a size 13 entry for me. Doubling down, like I told you guys in methods, we already know. We talk about that in the Hobby to Hustle program. But yeah. either way, okay. I can deal with that ick, you know what I'm saying? I think I can deal with these icks. I feel like, you know, I can work on it. Maybe I can cut back a little bit less on certain things, but yeah. you know, the stiff arm still might come every now and then <laughs> and the ha ha ha, but I get it, okay, okay. Um. Oh, okay, so this is an ick that I have, I'm working on. Like I said, I'm working on all these things. Okay. I need to work on this ick that I have for you. Okay. Is that you always want to be like wearing matching shoes. <laughs> I'm it's like, so come cute. on. So I love it. And I, you have been better about it like lately because like we'll, when you're on the same frequency, on the same vibe with somebody and you spend so much time with them, yeah. you naturally just end up kind of like Matching. dressing or like, you know, doing certain things, your movements, things like that. There's been and, like, times. Where there's been just, so many yeah. times where we'll be in separate rooms getting dressed and he'll come in and wearing like a variation of the same outfit that I'm wearing. My closet is uh, in a different it's a room so yeah, it's a room. yeah but i'll come in from my closet and she'll be in the other room and then we'll be like ah. <laughs> and she'll be like what and i'm like it was we didn't even plan it so there'll be times like that yeah and there's been a couple times where i'm like all right let's do this like this look good together yeah but yeah used to be like ick, ick, ick. i was like not dealing with yeah, it i didn't want to have life, nothing to do with it so. i know but still i'm like I feel like if it was for like, you know, a dope like photo shoot or something like that where it's like, oh, we put this like fire like retro fit together or did some classic nah, like everyday I think everyday it'd be life. Dope. It would be But I'm like, damn, cute. just going to the store like yeah, matching. Yeah, just then like, okay, think about, you know, when we have a family and stuff. The little kids. The little kids, you match But that's the kids, thing though, like grab that box. Of, here, I'll grab it real quick. <laughs> One day when we have kids, this you see what I'm saying? I yeah, got the lost and founds yeah. like but I kind of want them to be fly, you know, on their own, like where I'm not wearing the shoes on the same day. Yeah. So I kind of feel like it that way. That, you know? More photo shoot or something like that. I get that, but like, you know, what I'm saying these lost and founds go crazy. I had to, I had to go after these, but yeah. Okay. So that was a that was an ick that you had. That was an ick that you had. That I had. Oh yeah, yeah. that was right. That was an ick that I had. Okay. Okay. What so uh, what you got? I. You gotta say something good. You're gonna run out of bad things. <laughs> She's like, well, actually, I added six X and I, four. I have six good. X. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get an extra one, but you gotta okay. give me something good. Okay. All right, let's see. You being a hustler, because I feel like that had a lot to do. Like you were doing it beforehand, but I think that you being a sneakerhead and you, you know, having your business and mm -hmm. trading and like being like, you know, at all the releases, all those things. Like I feel like that. Um, experience kind of gave you more grit mm -hmm. and it translates into other parts of your life so um i i like that part you like that, that yeah because i think i think that's a good quality trait to yeah, have and then yeah. you know you teach me a lot of things and like 
you know how to apply that in my world so yep. yeah i like that okay yeah. i could deal with that i like that <laughs> one i like that one you know we hustling baby we out here grinding you know what i'm saying okay um yeah so i guess for that one it's kind of what the second one was you trying to learn but also the first one that i wrote down was uh she supports me in my addiction no matter what the price of the sneakers are so yeah. if it's a two thousand dollar shoe a ten thousand dollar shoe a twenty thousand dollar shoe a four hundred dollar pair of shoes me doing a trade whatever it is she's never like no nah, don't do that are you sure that's like she'll literally just ask me like okay if you think that's a good idea and it all makes sense and i'll like explain it i don't need to explain it to her but i kind of explain it to her to run it through my head as well on like the deals and stuff so you always like support that and then you like believe in it and i know that you like trust in it like oh yeah you're gonna make a good deal yeah. and i explain it and you're like yeah this makes sense so it gives me more reassurance behind it besides like just thinking about something by myself and like oh am i doing a good thing i don't know and then later be like damn so yeah i like that cool cool <laughs> <laughs> um i'll do another good one okay the fact that you can clean shoes to damn near dead stock perfection. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Cause you know, you know me. Um. That's gonna lead into my next ick. We might as well just get into my ick now because I was gonna say something good, but she just will dirty her shoes up so quick. And I'm like, bro, like I know she can clean them. I know that uh, she could wear them and everything's cool, but she knows that I could clean them. So she will just like, just be out just I like i don't mean to. i'm like who it is just... you curb stomping today like what is going on like what just happened and then there's certain shoes that's like like i said neutral gray ones right like she loves that shoe so i'm like let's just get her another pair but i'm like she's gonna tear up that second pair so quick <laughs> i already know it she's not gonna learn how to rock one stock one type situation so we just kind of have to learn but it's definitely an ick because i'm like especially when you wear the shoes and leave them dirty as hell and don't say nothing to me and just be stacking them all up. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me I could at least clean them? I'm talking about, you got me out here wearing dirty shoes. <laughs> I'm like, you can't be doing that. At least they're not Air Forces. Oh yeah, the Forces, we don't play that. If her Forces get beat, yeah. I don't even try to clean them. I'll just get her a fresh new icy pair every single time. Yeah. Those are heavy in the rotation. So we always got fresh brand new pairs just stacked up waiting for the next rock but okay yeah that was one of my eggs okay um that was my last egg that's your last egg yeah okay so then i'm gonna keep doing my eggs <laughs> um, you're gonna have to do nothing but good after that okay this is kind of an ick but it's it's more just funny to me because it just looks off because i'm so used to you not um when you wear any other shoes than jordan's <laughs> It's just like I like look at you and like your outfit or something and I just like something's not right here Like something's something's off. And right. It's just the shoes because I'm so used to seeing you and like just Jordans like yeah. Jordans always so yeah. when I see you in something else, I'd be like Something's just not <laughs> something's just not right But when I wear like what like when I wear like my dress shoes or like different brands I mean Cause I feel like my outfits that I wear with dress shoes, yeah, they're no, like that. outfits that go with dress shoes. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I'll put Jordans with them, depending on like if it's like a low OG one or something that's kind of more neutral to go with it. But I feel like that stuff is like I'll pretty say, standard with those type of fits. It's like the boots mostly. I'd be like looking like when you like, cause you don't wear them very often. But like when you wear your like Doc Martens and stuff. I just feel like I don't know something's just. <laughs> <laughs> not sitting right with me i don't know but it's not like a full egg it's just something that like i have to get used to you're just like not used to seeing it but when you i wear them like yeah. once a year twice a year yeah yeah yeah. so i i just feel like i don't just know. pull out the docks every <laughs> now and then you know what i'm saying throw in a rotation you know what i'm saying it's crazy because people it's so funny people think i have like all these brands of, or i have only jordans and, and nikes no, you have others but i have sure. like almost 20 different brands of sneakers like it's crazy i got yeah. all these random brands like i meet people that have their own brands and like people send me stuff and i might wear it every now and then but yeah obviously my dominant sneaker is gonna be jordans but yeah, yeah i'm sure for her she's probably like it's, and it's crazy because she sees me wear all this stuff and other people on the internet don't even know Never. that i'd be wearing the yeah. other stuff so i guess that's like a, a inside information for them to even know that i'd be wearing that type of stuff yeah so okay 
I'll deal with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna just like start wearing my docs more often or anything for that. So I mean, it like you're gonna have to get used yeah, to it. Yeah, I'll just. Adjust. You don't even. It's kind of weird when you wear yours too, though. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like when you wear your off. docs, I'm like, they look. It don't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It just looks. It's just like like off. It's just like different. different. Yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah, feel you. I, I feel agree. you on that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right. So, um, one thing that I like is that you know what you like. Like, there's no. It's. It's not an ick, but it's interesting how you like all the expensive stuff without knowing the price, <laughs> which is very interesting. But she literally, I'm like, there'll be like 10 shoes sitting out. She'll be like, I like those. And I'm like, that's the most expensive one. <laughs> She's like, for real? And I'm like, yeah. Look, so I'm like that in all aspects of life. I don't mean to. It be is like not that. even just shoes. It's I just not have even an just shoes. I for like like good good stuff. Yeah. Like, I'll just be like it could be. It's anything. not even shoes. That's it what's could crazy. Be anything. Yeah. Like, I'll so be like, oh yeah, that one. It is. It is what it is. But you do like what you like, and I know it's, it makes it easier for me to get you stuff because I'm like, oh, she likes Dunks. Yeah. She likes Jordan One Lows. Yeah. Some retros, depending certain colors different things like that like i get it yeah. i like what you i know what you like you got a og1 high you got a good you know versatile collection a bunch I of different a retro collection now. you know what i'm saying you got about like 50 60 <laughs> pair now you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah that's crazy huh i have never had that many shoes in my entire life yeah now she got a whole collection we gonna have to show her a collection one day yeah. should we show them the collection or should we just build it up some more till you get like maybe when you get like 100 pairs. 100 pairings. that's what i was thinking all right so like, when you get a good damn number. now we gotta get her to 100. i mean there's no rush you know she'd be like oh yeah no nah, it's fine you don't you know need to I get feel. those and then i get them anyways and then she'd be like rocking them as soon as she get up she's like ah you know i'm gonna pull this fit real quick mm -hmm. nah but yeah was that a good thing what were we talking about good things or bad things I think that was, a, that was good a good thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, I like, oh yeah, you like what you like, and I know I like what you like. Yeah. yeah. I like that you like what you like. Yeah. Um, a good one. Um, the way that you build a collection for our future kids. Yeah. Yeah. You have a huge collection of baby shoes, and our kids are going to be the flyest on the block Yo. no matter where we are. Samples, so. OGs, all the retros, flyer, just OG colorways. Yeah. OG models, yeah, nah, the collection is gonna be fire. Yeah. For sure, 100%, 100%. Okay, speaking of fire, you always put fire fits together with your shoes, but uh -oh. it's still a good thing though. <laughs> but you be stealing my stuff sometimes. <laughs> you be taking my clothes, my shirts, my yeah. hoodies, mm -hmm. get makeup on it, even my expensive ass clothes. I try not to. She's like, oh, don't worry, I won't get anything on this. Next thing you know, <laughs> the whole collar i'm like bruh but it's okay though it's all right it's all right it's just clothes you do be pulling some fire fits so i ain't mad at it i still like it i like i feel like it's hard to buy oversized things yeah when you're not oversized yeah so it's just easy for me to go in your closet and be like okay this fits a certain way this doesn't fit a certain way and so like i can kind of just like browse through there and grab something she literally goes like, shopping it's like she's like on a shopping spree in my closet all the time because yeah. like again like i said my closet is like a whole room so it's just like racks and it's just like she's just walking through it like ch -ch -ch -ch, boop, i'll take this boop, i'll take that yeah so yeah was that a good thing? Yeah, that was a good thing. I like that you pull off fire fits with the kicks. Okay. I got um, one thing left, I think. Yeah, I got one thing left. Let's see. I gotta check to see what I got. You got two X, that's or you got six X. Six X. The way you say you're going to cut down on your collection every year and it just grows. <laughs> I can't even say nothing. He'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cut it down to like 150 pair. And then no, all I of used sudden, to say that. I used all of a sudden, sudden I used it to ends say up that. at like over 300. No, at the end of the year. Over 500. Over 500 by the end of the year. And I'm like, like, how does that even happen? I mean, but the. <sighs> but I'm not really mad at it because I know what you're doing. It's and crazy. It's like, it's like holding like a stock. No, for real. I'll be, I'll be making the right decisions. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. That's the thing. And You're if not buying I get, things just to buy them. Yeah, no. Nah, if I get good deals, I know what to I know what to do. So, but like accommodating for your collection is yeah. rough. Yeah. So, definitely. Yeah. We'll figure fine. it out. Yeah, we'll yeah. be alright. It'll be fine. Eventually, I'll have a thousand pairs. So. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. You have one more. Okay. Oh, my last ick. Or no, I got. Uh, I only it? got good. No, I got good. I just thought about it. I got okay. good. So last good thing, I like is you wear kid sizes. Oh, okay. And because you wear kid sizes, it's so much more affordable to get certain sneakers. Yeah. And it makes it a lot easier to hit up like shops if I don't get it for retail or whatever and still get a really good deal mm -hmm. or through trades and different stuff like that. So if you had a bigger foot and you wore like a smaller men's size mm -hmm. and you was like an eight or a nine in men's or something, I'll be like struggling because I'm like, now I'm paying my price for retail and, and then my price again for retail. Yeah. So like every little bit like that is always... I love it because I'm like, yes, you wear kid sizes. This is great. Like you're a six youth. If anybody wants to send her a size six youth in any Jordans or Dunks or Forces, uh, hit the PO box. It's down below in the description. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her laced up. We got to get her to 100 pairs of shoes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, that's what I, I like that. I really do. Okay. So my last good thing is you looking fly and having good style because I feel like that does, like your shoes are a huge part of your style and the way that you put fits together. You always start from shoes and then up. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it kind of inspires you and your style and I like your style. So okay. Okay. That's sneakerhead related. I like that. I like that. Yeah. It's a uh, very interesting how the style game works. Ah, uh, there's people that like follow the trends of all the stuff that goes on. Yeah. And then there's just like me who's just like my stuff evolves a little bit, but I'm very like true to my style, very comfy. Yeah. And I think that's the only reason why my style works for people that they see me because they're like, oh, they know like anybody that knows me, they know like, oh, that's DJ. Like that's his style. He's gonna be chilling, gonna have some fly on, he's gonna be good. So I I'm cool with that. I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay, so we got anything else for the people before we go? Um check out Hobby to Hustle. Yes, link down, down below. below. <laughs> And if you like this um, kind of content, if you like me being, um, you know, featured. Yeah, we can, we can get you on the channel. We can get you on the channel. Yeah, I'll, I'll be around. So. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll come up with some more like series and some more Q&As or whatever. I don't know. We'll think of something. Yeah. All right. We got to go. Okay. Peace. Bye. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.